You're listening to the best local sports show. Boots, Bats and Balls on Six Towns Radio. Chills Bar, Baisley. Sponsors of Port Vale content on Six Towns Radio. Six Towns Radio. So we're here with Louis Saldane. I'll say you're right, Rob. <laughs> um, <laughs> did, did you guess the singer in the in the last track? Um, yeah, when his voice come on, uh, little Ollie from, from Port Vale. He's a good lad. He's a great singer. Got about three million followers on Twitter, more than Justin Bieber. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sure he's got a good good future. Whatever he, you know, whatever whatever comes his way, whether it's football or singing, you know, he's a t- really talented lad and a nice kid as well. Yeah, very difficult decision for him c- uh, coming up at some point. He's, he'll have to make the decision whether he's going football wise or whether he's uh, going to pro- go on to music. Yeah, of course, he's, uh, he's going to have to decide. You know, I'm, I'm sure he'll be able to have a su- successful career in both of those, whatever he chooses. So, you know, I wish him all the best. Uh, he's got a good family around him. I'm sure they'll uh, uh, lead him well. You know, his, his mum is uh, really excited about his future. I always speak to her, and um, you know, I can't, I can't wait to hit, hit, see him on TV, whether it's playing football or on X Factor or something like that. Yeah, I think I think <laughs> I think he'll be an X Factor contestant. I've just got yeah, a feeling. Well, no, I think he'll give him a bit of mouth if he doesn't get through as well. He's that type of lad. <laughs> have a nervous breakdown. It's like crying on stage. One of them. <laughs> but anyway, moving on to yourself, we were really, really sad to hear the news that you've you've actually had to retire. Can you give us a bit of a, uh, an insight into to what the injury is that you've got? Um, yeah, well, uh, basically, when I broke my leg last year, I've had a lot of um, problems with my, with my joint uh, seizing up and um, with regards to, like cartilage damage and stuff like that. So, um, it's ba- basically, it's not really. Uh, it has settled down but it's like because I haven't got much much cartilage in my ankle joint it's like just bone on bone rubbing when I'm running and that's causing me uh, too much pain to run and I'm limping around I'm not being able to do what I want to do so it gives me no choice really but to you know make that decision is obviously uh, gutting for me but it's one I've had to ma- had to make um, yeah. unfortunately and um, did, did I read that you went to see the AC Milan doctor um, well, yeah, it's, it's not, that's not really to try and ha- help me c- carry on playing. It's sort of a it's sort of trying to ha- just help me for the future to you know be able to have a kick about with my mates or you know yeah. something like that. It's not it's not going to be a, sh- a short term thing. Maybe uh, you know I'm, I'm willing to listen to any any specialist anyone says because you know if it's, it gives me a chance to be able to have a, a kick around for any sort of team in the future, then you know I'll be over the moon with that. Yeah, definitely. And uh, uh, our the, the club supporting you and helping you to um, decide on what to do next. Um, yeah, well, I mean, I, mean, I, th- I think that you know I'm uh, big enough and old enough and ugly enough to uh, you know 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 what um, know what I want to do. You know, I'm 27 now, so I've got other things in in plan for when I was going to retire. You know, I don't have 33, 34 years old. Obviously, yeah. it's a few years before that, but you know, I've got things in my mind what I want to do. Uh, the club have been you know obviously brilliant to me. The gaffer, all the staff, all the boys. I mean. They, they've been brilliant and they've just been supporting me the whole way they know I've had a tough time like the last year and a half of injuries and you know I wouldn't wish that up anyone you know right. um, I just I, I'm just looking to the future now to be honest with you I mean I'm going to miss playing football more than anything in, in the world because it's what I've done since I was you know eight nine years old yeah. every day really since I, since I was that age I've had a kick around with my mates until I left school then straight into professional football so you know, I've been doing it for for a long time. So I'm going to uh, m- miss it madly. Yeah, it's it's going to be it's going to be a, a real life changer. Yeah, you you won't think of going into tattooing like Riggy, will you? Um, <laughs> my, my hands not st- still enough. I'm like sh- <laughs> sh- shake like that bloke on X Factor uh, the other week. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the stage. I'm like that when I with my hands. So I don't think I'll be able to do it. Was it you uh, who did the tattoo on? Uh, yeah, he did done tattoo on my leg. He's he's really good. I think he's st- he's stopped now to you know concentrate fully on this football because he's not really got time now. He's got a li- little girl on that. So yeah, what possibilities have you got? Have you have you thought about what you're going to do? Um, I'd love to do like um, c- uh, you know co- coach young kids. I I did it when I used to play for Bristol Rovers uh, when I first broke into the team when I was 18. I used to coach uh, 10 year olds uh, for my local team, and I you know I really enjoyed that. I'd love to do something like that and you know, pass my knowledge of what I've, you know the last 10 years or so being a pro. Um, so those young kids, um, I'd, I'd, I'd like to like maybe own a little business or something with with my girlfriend, you know. Um, so I just need to look into it really and go from there. I'm going to take a couple of weeks out to sit back and really think what I want to do because you know it's a uh, it's a big decision and I, I need to. 
get a job as soon as possible, really, to you know, pay, pay, uh, pay my bills and look after my family like anyone else. Yeah, definitely. And w- when you were um, playing, would, would you look on the fan sites and, and see what people were saying about no, you? Um, you? You're told not to, really, because, you know, you, you're going to have people love you, you're going to have people hate you, and, I mean... I think you just got to concentrate on your job. Um, I know some, some of the lads do that, but you know, I think if sometimes you read a ne- negative comment, I think maybe you might take it the wrong way, and you might write something back. Like if you get a me- message on Twitter, like slagging you off. Yeah. You know, a lot of all the t- top players in England and that get caught in that trap at the moment, and um, yeah. you know, obviously you don't want to get in trouble with anyone. So you know, I try to tend to tr- tend to have always tried to stay off them and just like if a fan sort of said something to say to me face to face then you know you yeah it's, it's not hiding behind anything yeah, then, yeah. Not, you've yeah. got a right to reply as well yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> so um it, it when you got when you got the injury you just scored a goal i believe um, um no no i i i, I I, I think I'd, keeper just pulled off a. Oh, he just pulled off. Yeah, it was a, yeah, about it was a, a minute before. And you were absolutely on fire yeah, in that it's game. Just, it's just how, how like, changes can change within an instance, can it? I mean, I haven't played that's one minute. I'm doing that the next minute. You know, my career's over. I, like, I didn't know that at the time, but obviously, looking back on it now, that's what happened. And, and in fact, a lot of people were saying that that was probably your best uh, game yeah. in the Veil vale shirt as well. Yeah, I was, I was playing. I was playing all right, but obviously, you know, it's a long time ago now. It is, but you'll always be fondly remembered by oh, by the Vale fans. I and, hope so, yeah. And we'll you'll certainly get a warm reception any time you, you come to Vale. Yes, yeah, Um So, moving on to um, Vale this year, what, what what are your thoughts on this, the side that we've got? Uh, yeah, they're playing playing really really well. I mean, a lot. I know a lot of people doubted us, including the bookies at the start of the season, with obviously the odds on... 40-1? to one. Yeah, getting promoted, and that now obviously it's probably been cut by more than half now, I would have thought. Yeah. So, um, the, the boys have proven them wrong, and I mean, everything that's gone on with the club, you know, everyone's been on, well, everyone was on a downer, but the boys have stuck together, worked really hard, and, you know, um, it's, it's showing on the pitch, and um, everyone's playing really confident, confidently, so hopefully it can c- continue for a long time. Do you think we'll get promoted? I don't see why not. Um, we, we, everyone we played this season, we played really well. Rotherham favourites hammered them six one. Exeter last week beat them. You know, if it be Oxford, and no, another one of the favourites, even though they're not doing too well. Yeah. So you know, if we carry, carry on this run, then uh, confidence uh, carries on. I don't see why why we can't be up there. And and who's your best mate at the club? Um, I, I, did you know what I've I've got? Uh, I get on with everyone. I mean, all the new lads that have come in. I've not really got a chance to know them that well because obviously I've been on my own tr- trying to get fit. I didn't go on the tour to Ireland, um, but I get I get on really well with uh, you know numerous players in the, in, in the team, and um, I'm going to miss them miss them a lot when 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 I don't see them every every day because you know. Are you, are you still getting into the club at the moment? Yeah, at the moment. Yeah, I'm just, I got to obviously sort a lot of things out with the PFA re- with regard to. You know, you know um, stuff that I want to do in the future. And is maybe. Gareth Owen helping you with that? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's uh, the PFA representative, so yeah. he's been a, he's been a good help, as well as all the boys. You know, they've all all been there for me. They know I'm going for a pr- you know a pretty tough time in my career and that. So, you know, they've been supportive, and you know, I, I thank him dearly. Yeah, definitely. And who's the best player you've played with uh, in your career? Uh, pr- probably Ricky Lambert. Why, why is that? Which is, uh, it says it all, doesn't he? Scoring goals in the Premiership now. Yeah. Scored against Man United, Man City. Was it a couple of weeks ago? Mm. Um, flying, uh, it's a, well, absolute great player. So it's a privilege to play with him. And who was he? Was the toughest player you've ever played against? Um, I, I think there was a the defender a few years ago called Crosby. Used to he played for Chesterfield. He was an animal. He used to <laughs> knee me in the knee me in the back, pinch me. <laughs> No, it was horrible. I hated playing against him. <laughs> <laughs> and um, best goal? Um, I have not many of them. I used to score quite a few when I was when I first broke into team at Bristol Rovers. But obviously, since I had a lot of injuries lately, I haven't I haven't really scored that many for Val. Um, pro- probably uh, want to score on my second game for Bristol Rovers from like 40, 40, 40 yards top corner. So yeah, that was about a long, long time ago, but I, I do remember it because it was uh, my my first goal. So, in terms of coaching, have you have you yeah. done any badges at the moment? Uh, no, I haven't. I th- I'm going to um, I'm looking to it to, to do it with um, the PFA trying to sort sort that. There's now obviously the, the big, big launch this week, St George's Park opening, and supposedly tens of thousands of coaching spaces available now at national level. So I mean that that could yeah. be a real a real bonus to you know what I mean to yeah. be able to get. 
the hardest part, I suppose, is actually getting yourself on a course, isn't it? In the first, yeah, instance. courses. I think um, I think the like PFA obviously will will try and fast track me into doing that if I want to do that, and it's something I really like to do. I mean, I lo- lo- love. I'm a young little kid at heart myself, you know. Yeah. That's my girlfriend, um, <laughs> and you know, I'd, I'd I'd love to love to do that and pass my experience on to uh, the young kids for the future. Yeah, yeah, and it, it is quite competitive, isn't it? But yeah, again, I think the basis is, yeah. you've had of a professional career yeah, lasting that, yeah. eleven years, yeah. whatever it is, that, that that's going to help, isn't it? I, I, I'd like to think it would. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'd like to think it, if I was going for a job, maybe I'd they'd look at that and. See, see me with experience and that over someone that hasn't really played the game maybe but just done the course sort of thing yeah. doesn't really know the game in and out so um, yeah that's uh, something I look, look forward to doing yeah like I say, like I say it's a big launch this week wanted at St, at St George's Park over in Burton uh, the, new, the new FA Centre yeah, uh, yeah. Fa- I mean I used to drive past it when it was being built and it's was a fantastic it, yeah. facility yeah, um, it looks quality, yeah so hopefully like you say you know there's going to be I think I think the the ethos of that is as well. It's the base for the for the national side. So they are really trying to push the coaching and availability of courses, aren't they? Rather than it being down to your local FA, you know, you can go to a centre of excellence sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, obviously you're going to get the best training there as well, aren't you? By the uh, top coaches, and then you look, look to them and uh, you take ideas off them, things like that. And then obviously those coaches that are not so high can take it back to schools, and then it obviously improves everything, doesn't it? That's yeah. grassroots. So. Yeah, yeah. We, wish you, we wish you really. <coughs> excuse me. We wish you well with with the coaching. Obviously, sure, it's sure. Uh, it is a competitive market, but you know, hopefully, you'll get some of the qualifications under your belt, and, and someone will give you an opportunity to, you know, to to try and do it at a, at a professional level. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, cheers. Thanks very much to Lewis for spending his time with us this morning, no and uh, we wish him all the well for the future, which whatever that much. takes him.